not even necessary for you to think you're going to be a champion. It's not about being a champion, it's about just playing well. Desire will set the direction, but desire will not make you win. Winning needs comp competence. Competence doesn't drop from the sky. For every successful person, oh, there is a painful story. Painful does not mean you suffered. Painful means uh, there is a lot of things. Competence is built. Well, some natural skills may be there, but it has to be worked at minutely. To reach somewhere, uh, there is a meticulous process. You have to pay attention to little, little things about yourself that nobody even cares to notice in their life. By the very nature of our job as military person in general and as a fighter pilot in particular, we have to engage in the acts that might cause harm to other beings. How are we connected as individuals to the karma of that act? So all you have to see is just this, every act that we do, is it in the larger interest of people or is it for personal pleasure we do it? Everything that we do, is it of some significant consequence to everybody? Or are you going out there to fly and just enjoy shooting people? If you settle this one thing, you don't have to worry what you're doing because you do what is needed in a given situation. Not what you whim, not by your whim, but simply by what is do needed. If you're doing just what is needed for the larger well-being, well, it's a good karma because your intent. You must understand, karma is not determined by the action, but by the volition. What intent? Your intent is, you are fighting for the well-being of the nation. certain caste in the… in the education field because a time is coming when our learning will not mean anything. Our knowledge, accumulation of information will not mean anything because machines can learn faster than you and deliver faster than you. And more accurately, it's important that we shift education from loading up information in our heads to exploring the dimension of what it means to be human. We call you as a human being. Why this is so is, you are supposed to know how to be. If you knew how to be, would you choose the highest level of pleasantness or varieties of unpleasantness? For yourself, I'm saying. What you want for yourself is very clear, you want the highest level of pleasantness. So pleasantness is not a goal by itself, it is an ambience that is necessary within you if what you call as a human being has to unfold. Everybody is afraid today, wherever I go, <laughs> they're calling me for all kinds of artificial intelligence uh, conferences in the world and their fear is, it'll take away our jobs, it'll dominate our life, it'll take over the world. I said, yes, if you remain as stupid as you are, it will, <laughs> for sure it will. Because right now, your own intellect has taken over your life and destroying you, make you suffer for nothing. If I leave you alone in a room, all by yourself, if you are capable of being miserable, this means you are in bad company, isn't it? Hello <laughs> If I am with you and you suffered, maybe it's me. But you are sitting alone and suffering, this means you are in bad company, isn't it? You have to fix that one thing that this one is never bad company. This is the best company you have.
we are always trying to upgrade our activity. Without upgrading ourselves, you want to race in Formula One track, but you have a Maruti 8. It's a wonderful car to go to your office. But if you get it onto the F1 track, four wheels will fly in four different directions. So that's all that's happening to them. They are aspiring for something for which they have not upgraded themselves. Now, the activity that they really want to do is freaking the hell out of them. The success is freaking them, all right? I can understand if failure is freaking you. But in this world, I want you to understand successful people are the most freaked out people. Yes, you need an upgrade of yourself. Your phone is getting upgraded even without your permission. Hello? <laughs> Everything is being upgraded, what about you?